This is the, another great technique is the feathering technique. We cover that in the fundamentals course. And I want you just to lean your, let's do it, the upper trap over to one side and then you just feather it briskly like that. I find this technique really helps uh, relaxing tight muscles. And I can do that like if someone's got a Charlie horse or you know, in their hamstrings or their calves, I'll just feather that. Or on the bottom of the feet, you know, sometimes the bottom of people's feet cramp up. You like to stretch it while you're feathering it. Now the other thing is spindle cell, where you go into a tight muscle and you tweak in to weaken or relax. So if we're doing our upper traps, we're going like this. And again, these are things I've done on myself with great results. I was, um, back in my triathlon days, I just uh, I finished a, uh, in Malibu at the Zuma Beach. I get out of the water and I do the bike. And I'm going up the Pacific Coast Highway and back. And around the end of the bike, I'm getting really cramped in my gastrocnemius, in my calves. So I said, oh my God, I got to do the full run after this and I can hardly stand up. So I, I knelt down, I stretched my calves out, and I feathered them. I don't even think I did the spindle cell, but after 20 seconds on each calf, it totally relieved the cramps, and I ran the entire rest of the race with no more cramping. So um, that, and also when I did the New York Marathon, I found whenever a muscle was cramping up, like I'd get cramps in my sacrospinalis. So I'd go to the neural lymphatics while I was rubbing, and I'd relieve it. And then my quadriceps would cramp up, and I'd just get on the neural lymphatics while I'm running, and it would relieve it. So anytime a muscle cramps, first you can feather it, spindle cell it, and then do the neural lymphatic, especially if it's in an athletic event, and it will often clear it. 